Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Matey. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, inspired by dreams. Dot shop. We have everything from hats, snapbacks, hoodies, a little bit of everything for you to get your drip on. Original, dressing outside the box. Okay, this episode, I gotta prep you guys before we jump into it because these are the type of situations where you never know what's gonna happen next. When it comes down to having relationships with people, having two partners or two baby mothers, two, it just gets messy in certain situations. So just knowing who you're with can avoid a lot of things now what I'm about to get into if you haven't seen this video on YouTube if you've seen this video I know you want to talk about it and if you didn't see this video buckle up young mom lured and ambushed by lovers fiance and sister let's get it I will murder you I will murder you I will murder you. I will murder you. I will murder you. It's August 11th, 2022 in Gwinnett County, Georgia. 27-year-old Antonetta Stevens mercilessly beats 30-year-old Ashley Bocanegra in the street behind the Preston Hills at Mill Creek apartment complex. She screams threats at her, punches her in the face, and throws her body against the asphalt. As Bocanegra begs Stevens to stop, 17-year-old Janine Gonzalez records the assault on a cell phone. The footage of the fight is too graphic to put on screen. But if you listen, you can sure hear the like threats and other evidence investigators gathered from the video. Stop, you're so lucky my nails is hurting because I was really do worse to you right now. I will do worse to you. I will do worse to you. I will do worse to you. That's why he was trying to protect you, but now he don't care for you to get your ass beat. The fight is over a man named Daniel Gonzalez who's allegedly carrying out a relationship with both Stevens and Bocanegra. Janine Gonzalez, his younger sister, is good friends with Stevens. Stevens and Bocanegra are both mothers to young boys. At the time of the attack, Bocanegra's son is seven years old. Stevens' sons are three and nine. Stevens knows Bocanegra as her fiance's manager at Floor & Decor, where he works overnight shifts. Wanna get up? Get off me. Get off my hair, I'ma you up. Let me go then. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get off me. Say hi to Daniel. Get the you know she started to come out here and fuck, right? Okay, good. You know that, right? Uh huh. He's in the house with our son. Hey, wow. Well, he said I could fuck you up. Yep, this is what we do. If I get mad and he knows uh -huh. I'm leaving, he feels sad. He says, I'll let you fuck her up. That's what I'm doing. You up. All right. Tell me everything. You got it. Get off. No. No, you ain't got. You don't get to say something. You're my man, right? Want to be in front of my man, right? Right, you his manager. I'm getting you fired. That's bias. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's a conflict that. of interest. I'm showing this to the job. Okay. You're f***ing my while he's on the clock. My going there trying to ruin his family. He has a whole son. You're mad for him. Okay. Get off. Wow. Get off. <clears throat> that's that. Yeah. yeah. During the fight. Stevens instructs Gonzalez to steal Bocanegra's phone. They take it back to the apartment where they plan to call Bocanegra's fiance to tell him about her affair with Daniel Gonzalez. Got my face. Right, give my phone. Nope, you're not getting it. You're jumping both of us for your phone. phone. We're, come on, let's go. Let's go. Give my phone. No. Bocanegra follows her assailants up to the apartment to retrieve her phone. Daniel Gonzalez, who was allegedly sleeping in the apartment during the attack, hears the verbal altercation between the women at his door and gives Bocanegra's phone back to her. According to the Gonzalez siblings, Bocanegra appears badly beaten. She goes to a local hospital to treat the injury she sustained from Stevens. Several passers-by witness the attack. One person calls the Gwinnett County Police. Authorities go to Stevens' apartment that afternoon to ask what happened. Can they come out? The females that are in there? The, the females that are in there are fine. Yeah. This girl, she came to my house. She's been sleeping with my fiance. 
Mm. She works over there, he, she's his manager, and she keeps on forcing him to have sex with her after he'd been cut it off or she's gonna fire him. And we ended up fighting right there because she approached my home. This is my home. She lives all the way over there. Okay, is everybody in the house right now? Oh, just me. I'm the only one at home. He is sleeping with both of you. The girl she left. Is your Wake sister up. involved? My sister? Yeah, is she in No, she that's my sister in law. She is she involved? There. She was there. Are you two arguing? Are you guys? No, we're not arguing. Okay, okay, so let's go inside. The female that he's been sleeping with. Him? Yes, my okay. fiance. I've known him for five years. Okay. We moved here together from up north. He has worked, he's worked, he works at Floor and Decor. He's been sleeping with his manager. And that's who was here? Yes. Okay. And I've been feeling it for some time now. Okay. Yesterday I'm walking to Quick Trip. I see them walking together. And you're a woman, you know our intuition. I know that's the girl. Mm -hmm. I seen her, we argued yesterday, he broke it up, it was fine. This morning now, she's calling, calling, text him, text him, text him, saying that she's gonna be coming here. I waited for her. Stevens admits to waiting outside the apartment complex for Boca Negra to arrive, but she conveniently leaves out one crucial detail. Stevens lured Boca Negra to the apartment by posing as Daniel Gonzalez in a series of text messages. Where's she at? She's walking the apartment. Hold the phone now. have kids. What are you doing? And it's a setup. You set her up. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Pool? This is where it gets too crazy. Like, oh, you're doing right, too much. Bro, you're fighting over somebody that look doesn't look even look love right both of y'all. Doesn't even know what love is. That's what. That was me. You know who it is. By that evening, yeah. Winnet County yeah. Police receive yeah. a call from yeah. the hospital where Boca Negra checked in. She needs to be transported to a different hospital for surgery. Unfortunately. Her injuries are too severe. The 30-year-old New York native and mother to a seven-year-old boy dies work. before they can operate. Upon receiving the news of Boca Negra's untimely death, Gwinnett County detectives make their way to the Preston Hills at Mill Creek apartment complex. They're looking for Stevens and Gonzalez. I know, that, that was the girls that were walking. They went to Quick Trip. This is how things go bad. Hey, I'm Detective Carter with Winnet County Police. Are you your internet? Yeah. It went from bad hey, to worse. Hey, this is Detective Poppy, Sergeant Poppy. Hi, nice to meet you. We know that there was like an incident yeah. that happened earlier today. Mm -hmm. Has anyone called you about it since? No. Was somebody supposed to? Well, we just got another call about it. So I guess okay. the girl went to the hospital okay. and she died. She died? She's dead. So, but we know that there was like an altercation that happened beforehand. And that was mutual and she came here. Yeah, we understand that. Yeah. So, but we, because I of it. I wasn't going to kill anybody. Yeah, I'm not that person. I get it. Yeah. But because of that, we have to kind of talk to you guys and get a more formal statement. True, okay. Um, wow, I'm so sorry about that. Um, yeah. That was not my intention. Um, I've been mentally going through a lot. Don't try um, to pull the mental health. I Do not try to pull the mental health. This is not. Depression. No, no, no. I'm just going through that. a lot right now. And, you know, I came here from up north. You have to take um, responsibility with my fiance and what you did. Hey. I came here with my fiance. They got going to be sleeping around for the rest yeah, of the night. Yeah. Um, so I came Are you here. the sister? The yeah. Sister. Okay. Sister. Um, I chose the wrong baby. I came here with my fiance um, to start a new life, buy a house, everything like that. And I never expected him to basically cheat on me with someone at the workplace, you know what I'm saying? So we would like to get like a formal statement, so we're going to ask that you come up to our headquarters and talk to him. It's just right up the street. Okay. okay. All right. I hear um, kids. Is there someone else here? That yeah. can, there's someone here with them? Yeah. Okay. Once Stevens and Gonzalez arrive, <laughs> the women are placed Great. in separate interrogation rooms where they wait for Detective Araya <laughs> and Detective Carter. Just go through basically since I wasn't there and I'm I'm playing catch up basically. So what happened? So like she has like this. Let me start to what we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're all okay. So like since I've been down here, they they haven't been on good terms. So, you know, bad vibes, back to back. Bad vibes. So, like, get bad we vibes just came back from Florida, like, not too long ago from her it's mom's reeking. wedding. Mm -hmm. And we left on bad terms with everybody. She's evil. My brother got into a, you know, incident with her stepdad. So, ever since that happened and we left Florida, 
but it's just been rocky, rockier. It's just been worse at arguments. And so, yeah. Sorry, I just cursed. You're fine. Okay. Yeah. You, I so, fucked up earlier. Okay. <laughs> so, like, you know, they're arguing or whatever. So, she my be brother, too. him being a man, cheats. Like always, you know, he's feeling less than he thinks it's okay to cheat, so, you know. He tells me, so, he tells me who is he cheating with and stuff. Now, me and my stepsister, I mean, not my stepsister, my sister-in-law, we're yeah. very close, like, so close, like, you Are understand. You serious? Like, she's more of a sister to me than my brother's a brother to me, you know? Oh, yeah. Very so, nice. like, we're very close. Yeah. So, once he told me, <laughs> I was just like, Ooh, what? What? Tell her. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's girl code. Yes, yeah, yeah, right? So, especially when, right after he told her, after he told me what he, what he was doing, he wanted to do it with her. So I'm just like, mm -mm, I'm about to tell her. Two days prior before this day, um, we were just chilling. She was working, and Daniel did something to her to make her upset. So we were talking or whatever, and I was just like, oh, I forgot to tell you. No, I didn't forget, mm -hmm. but that's it. You know. So I was like, um, tell her what happened. He explained what she did or whatever. She's like, oh, really? She's upset or whatever. I was like, don't tell him that's on me because he's going to be better. Right. Okay, so after that, um, he explained how the girl looked to me though. And you know, earlier Puerto Rican skinny girl. So I was like, okay. So then I explained it to Tanetta. So the next day after that, we went to the store. Last night. Mm -hmm. Last night. We went to the store last night and we were walking to Crip Trip. Crip Trip is right there, you know. I don't know so, if I got walking earlier. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we walked to Crip Trip as we're walking to Crip Trip. Are you both serious? Both of them are walking together from Crip Trip. So they're just now leaving and we're just now coming. So Antonetta is like, is that Daniel walking? So now she runs to him like, who is this? So he's like, oh, it's my work or whatever, whatever. Mind you, before we walked to Crip Trip, we asked him, when you go on your break, can you take us to the store? He said he couldn't leave on his break. So when we saw them walking, it was like, you just said you couldn't leave on your break. Now you walk with her to the store. The girl Gonzalez describes seeing with her brother was Ashley Bocanegra. After that, she's kicking Daniel or whatever. She don't want to live with him no more. It's either he gonna leave or she's gonna leave. And you know, she gotta leave with the kids and everything. So it would make sense if he just left. So he's getting kicked out, whatever. And then, I guess, I guess she was coming to see him. He was getting kicked out. I don't, I don't know. I was in those messages. I'm not sure what's that. But I guess she was coming to see him because he was getting kicked out. And it's not as all the messages. So she decides. Like yeah, now she's about to come see you. Now I'm about to beat her up. Cause I just you you just saved me from her the other day. No, you know that's how it was. So she's coming. So it's Netta. And me, we go to, we go, and she comes to the house, you know, big fight, it's a big fight, so, uh, after the fight, um, we took her phone, we were going to call her husband to let her know that, you know, it's just a thirsty love. Gonzalez is laughing and smiling throughout her recounting of the story. She doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation she's in. If she does understand, it appears she doesn't care. Oh, okay, so we close the door. She started just banging the door like crazy. Cause you know, we got her phone. So she wants her phone back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we gave her her phone back. And then, I don't know what the hell happened after. Oh, uh, she gave her her phone back literally like she left right after. I, I don't know what. I don't know how she left. Like I wasn't watching after that, cause my brother was mad as hell, and uh, you know he don't want me in the business. I was already in it too much. So he's like, oh my ass. So I'm just like, okay. So I don't know what happened after she left, but literally right after she left, a third party called the police. They came, you know, made a report, and then after that it was over or whatever, and then. Just know you guys came. 
Yeah. That's, that's all I know. When you guys uh, fought, how long did that fight last? Three, two minutes. Okay. Yeah, it was it was early. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, have you ever been in fights before? Me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You seem kind of athletic. You, you play sports when you're in school. She don't even know the No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do I really look athletic? Yeah, you look athletic. Yeah. Oh. Got some some shoulders on you. <laughs> Why would you do that? You don't know if I just care about these shoulders. While Gonzalez is laughing and joking, Steven's time in the interrogation strikes a different tone. She immediately requests a lawyer. I will say that, you know, I don't go out looking to harm anybody. Um, that's not my intention. I do feel, you know, very remorseful about anything that has happened with that, that young lady. Um, I'll also say that, you know, it wasn't my intention to even get into an altercation with her today. Um, she came over to my place of residence looking for my fiance. We argued, I was hit, we fought. Um, I feel really bad, but you know, I really, I'm, I don't know, I'm just, you know, it's just, it's just too much. Damn. Damn. You okay? I kicked in, y'all. I'm just, you know, I have kids. I, I don't, I, just, I don't know how to feel, man. I've been going through too much. 17-year-old Gonzalez is willing to share much more of what happened with investigators. She does not know anything about it. happened. It was very good. I know she came. so bad. You know, fights are just like a blur when it happens. But where was I know you said you said earlier she came looking for him. She she came because he was moving. He was getting kicked out, and she wanted to be a little writer. When she knows she was searching and she got her husband at home with like, girl. I know she's breaking up a happy home. But where was she mm -hmm. at? Like No, she has a husband as well. Though. Yeah, no, but where was she at? Um, what do you mean? You said she came and looked for him. Where was she at? How did y'all how did y'all make contact with her? Through messages. Where did you meet up? She was she was in our complex. I guess she lives like right near us. Look at her right there, right there. Look, I saw that. That was me, you know. And they filming it thinking that you're in yeah. trouble, like, like I think like there's media. like two sides of the complex. So you know that hill? Yeah. It goes around and like when it goes up and around there's another complex that looks just like the same mm -hmm. side. So did she knock on the door at first or you guys just saw her outside? Outside. She didn't she didn't knock, she didn't get the chance to. Okay. Cause like, oh yeah, you got this coming. I'm about to be her own. So yeah. Did you guys start yelling at her before you guys approached her, or how did that go down? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about that. It wasn't really all. Uh, it was just like, yeah, you can't see my. And then it was just fight after that. She knew what it was because she she got ready to, you know. And then it was just fighting. Who was fighting? Um, the girl today. Everybody? No. Girl, you didn't get nothing. No. Like, yeah. Of course you did. I know you did. Just, 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 you guys, that's because that, like you said, that's your homegirl. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about that. How that? Happened. I didn't. I didn't go. I didn't go crazy though, cause she's small as hell. Like, mm -hmm. you're enough already. I don't need to be punching her, dragging her. I don't need to do all that. I'm good. She like, even know that she's gonna, she's gonna probably get floor. charged too. And I kind of like her, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then, and then I, and then I stopped. I was like, it's hard. The adrenaline's going. You know, you gotta. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, let me stop. And then they're just fighting. And yeah, just, just, a little, just a little hit. So I didn't really fight her. That, that's just crazy. What made it stop? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's, I don't know. That's a weird question. I, I never know. Like, was she, like, was she like, saying anything or what? Ashley, I mean, because she, she was just. I never, I never, She's out of all fights I've been in, 
I never saw somebody she's crazy. talk during a fight like, why are you gonna be up talking? Mm -hmm. I never, never met somebody that ever. What was she saying? She was just like, she was just, you know, talking. Oh, that doesn't want you. That's why he's alone. You know, just, just like that. Yeah. Out in the air. And then, like, it was just such a weird fight. Like, she was just like, she just was kept on talking. Then she was like, aren't you a sister? And it was just laughing all the time. It was just weird. She was, she was a weird person. Uh, you said she said grab the phone? Yeah. Anthony said grab the phone? Yeah, I grabbed it. Okay. When she was um, talking back, uh, while she was getting beat up, like, how that make you feel? With the stuff that she was saying? Like, I don't care. She's angry, she's mad. Cause like, she was, listen, I, I don't get bothered by people who talk stuff. You gotta like, really do something to me, you know? She was talking That's about your like, brother though. And your just, sister. Yeah, but it was just like, so, thank you. So you weren't mad? You was just not so alive, just like whatever? Yeah, I, I can't be that bad now, come on. She knew what it was. Every, you're gonna talk regardless, it's a fight. What do you expect? So, mm -hmm. I'm just like, uh, I've been in, I've been in multiple fights. Big She's a lost So you were just standing over them as they were fighting? Yeah, I'm just like, what the But then I walk away to the hell. It was mad as hell. He, he, like I said, every time I just me get in the business period, he gets angry. And I don't got time for him. Yeah. But he was sleeping when the fight was happening outside, right? Because you said that she woke him up. Yes, yeah, she did. By she, you mean Ashley, right? Uh-uh. Who, who woke Daniel up? She did. Um, Who's she? Okay, so you guys were outside fighting. No, we woke him up when Ash when we knew where Ashley was coming, and then we was like, yeah, like she's about to get beat up because now you getting kicked out. She thinks it's okay to come save you. Like, who is she? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't been together for how long? I really didn't see her after that. Like they had me sitting in the back because they was on my. Detective Araya and Detective Carter already spoke with Daniel Gonzalez back at the apartment complex. While his fiance and sister were being escorted to the police headquarters, Daniel Gonzalez shared what he knew with investigators. Listen, we'll come back here and talk to you. I understand you got kids, so we'll just leave you here for now with your kids. Um, we're gonna take her up and talk to her, and your sister's gonna go. So just two cars, so one more car, that's it. And then we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. Um, how long have you lived here? About a year. About a year? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you know Ashley? Yes, sir. How do you know Ashley? Uh, uh, you know you have an emotional relationship with these work? Okay. So, they had the altercation earlier this afternoon. Yes, sir. Okay, which you don't I know was, anything about? No, I was informed that while I was sleeping, she went in my phone, took my phone, and yes, she, she deleted the messages from not even online. She mm -hmm. gave me back my phone, and it was like, seemed like it was untouched. Yeah. Text the woman said, "Hey, she, she basically acted like she was me. I know. I she probably. I swear she probably still has the messages. Ashley. So, um, she texted me and she was like, well, she acted like she was me. And she said, "Hey, my wife kicked me. Um, she's not my wife, but she said that. I guess that's what she said. When it came out, love. So she kicked me out and come meet me. Uh, she used basically her, her, her emotional, the way she feels towards me. Yeah. To get her over here. And when she got her over here, they call." Go ahead and just take them over by your car. What's gonna happen? Just go ahead and take them over We're by your car, just, please. Well, yeah, hold on one second. So then she came over, so she asked her to come over. She was pretending to be you. Yes, ma'am. And then what? She fought her. She had to, because the way when I opened, I, was, I literally woke up and was like, oh, When you say she fought her, like, She had to fight who? her. They had to fight or get in an altercation because when like when I heard this, like I literally woke up and I'm like, what the heck? And all I hear is them yelling when my sister and my sister and her, you know, I guess like hyped. Um, so like, Ashley came something. here to your door because they took her phone, I guess. Like she had, they took her phone. Like I think they back. Oh, they took her phone. Yes. And, okay. Because she was gonna text, um, I guess her man and, and like you know, mm -hmm. she was pretty. She was hurt, so but she's not gonna wake up. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, there's knocking that door, but I hear bigger. So I'm like. Yo, I don't hear this door. I'm like, what the heck? I open the door. <laughs> and I just see that I just closed it immediately. Was, How did she look when you when she opened the door? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She, she looked up? Yeah. Okay. 
He tells detectives that although he is in a relationship with Stevens, he isn't interested in her. Their relationship had been falling apart for some time, leading up to the attack against Bocanegra, his new love interest. Did she talk to you about it afterwards? No, the only thing she said is, why would you do this to me? And I told her, like, we, we're not, like, the love, the love interest is gone, everything. Like, I told her just yesterday, mm -hmm. when she saw me walking with the girl. Oh, that okay. And I stopped her, I was like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna fight her because of what we're going through. It's not, it's not her fault, you know. Did she message yes, yes, Ashley she from your phone? Yes, and I'm pretty sure Pretending Ashley, to be you? Yeah, yes. Daniel Gonzalez shows his phone to Detective Carter, who begins reading the text messages Stevens allegedly sent. There's, there's about what happened to your sister kicked me in the back by my heart and chest. Yes, and I know she has heart problems. Like, this is like crazy to me. Like, like, it's not like this is fresh. Like, I'm over here cheating on this woman. I'm not. I, we've been like, this has been a toxic environment and she's just been trying to figure out what to do and I've been trying to figure out what to do, but, but she doesn't want nobody to leave. Where you at? I need to see you. I'm in the bed. I want you here so bad. Mumble, jumbo, award Daniel through. Gonzalez appears genuinely concerned about Boca Negra's well-being. He willingly gives his phone to investigators and consents to a download of his messages. Stop playing with me, no, please. No, seriously. Please stop playing with me. Please stop playing with me. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Please stop playing with me. Shh, breathe, breathe, breathe. Please stop playing with me, Matthew. Breathe, breathe. Oh, look at me, look at me. Always, always. Daniel Gonzalez, obviously distraught, leaves the walkway and enters his apartment. Detectives follow him. Number one, none of those people are fit to be parents. The love is missing, the understanding, the commitment, everything is all toxic. And that chick, she had that demon energy that she can, She had no feelings for the whole situation. It's like she just was going through like a dream or a nightmare, we should say. But it's sad to see that the youth, they just think that social media taping these fights and putting them up and it's like a thing not getting the results and nobody ever gets to see what happens after the fact and the injuries and the victims and then nobody gets to see their point of view they just see whoever they deem, deem to be the, the winner but you know what at the end of the day it's not worth it if you're gonna lay down with somebody and have a, and have a baby you gotta be committed to that person and stop jumping around and just be in love with the sexual part because there's more to a relationship than just sex until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe.